Welcome to this video all about Power Apps training. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can obtain training for both yourself, your team, and the wider organization. My name is Dougie Wood, and I'm a Microsoft MVP. I'm also a solution architect at Valto. The key takeaways from today's video will be discovering what free training materials available to you, and as well as that, understanding what Microsoft will offer to you for free. You can also discover how Valto can help your organization with different types of programs and gain insights to Valto and what support we can offer your organization. So starting off, what training materials are available for you? So the first on the list I've put is LinkedIn. There are tons of free materials on LinkedIn. All you need to do is go to LinkedIn, type in Power Apps across the top in the search bar, and then the filters select courses, and you'll see there's a wide variety of different training courses in here. Um, most of them average about an hour to two hours long, and there's all sorts of different angles from this. So things just like essentials, getting started, but they're going into a bit more detail about specific types of power apps, like building up model-driven apps, as an example, or working with the AI builder with inside of power apps. All of these training courses, they tend to be made up of a series of different videos, as well as different types of types of tasks and, and things that you can work on as you're kind of following this. But it's all broken down into really easy, simple to understand modules. So you can come back to it any time. You don't have to try and attempt to do this all in one go. This could be something that you're doing um, in and around other types of work. So you can just watch, say, a short video here for two or three minutes and then come back to it later in the day to continue to watch the rest of it. But I find these really helpful. Um, there's, As I say, there's loads of different instructors. So if you find one um, that you prefer more, there might be more training courses that they offer as well. So go and check out LinkedIn Learning as there's a lot of different materials available to you. Next on the list is... Power Apps Learning Template. So something which I think is a great idea that Microsoft have offered to people completely for free is they have built a Canvas Power App which teaches you how to use or how to build further inside of Power Apps within a Power App. So this is really simple to get started. It's free for everybody. So let's quickly walk through how we go and do that. From office.com, if you select the app launcher and then select on Power Apps, that will then take you to the Power Apps portal, essentially, where you can build out your Power Apps. Then if you select the Create option on the left-hand side, this will take you to a page which actually contains a whole bunch of different templates. Now, these templates are essentially a bit like examples, proof of concepts. They're not fully functioning apps. It's not like you can just deploy an app straight away and it'll work perfectly, but it gives you a good understanding of what is available and gives you, if, if you're anything like me, I like to work sort of from an example, see how other people have done it, and then adapt that to build out my own apps. It's a great starting place. But here we can see there's a template called Power Apps Training which is described as this is a training app that teaches you the basics of building your own Power Apps applications with 20 plus exercises, each one just taking a few minutes to complete. You will learn how to build your own apps in a hands-on way. And it's exactly that. It, it, it guides you through how you work with this app step by step along the way. So it's just a simple case of then clicking on the Create button after you've given it a bit of a name. Um, and this will then build this template out for you. It builds as a real app. It's not like you're watching a training video or something like that. It is a true Canvas Power App. And it will guide you through step-by-step step different types of actions. It says over 20 different exercises for learning about Power Apps. There we go. It's now deployed. And you can see it starts us off with actually telling us about what is um, building out the app. Um, it tells us that we need to be in play mode for the app, so we can start by clicking this play button across the top right hand corner, and then we can move through um, the different kind of tasks. So it'll ask us to complete things, and as we complete them, they'll become unlocked on the left hand side. So it works for all sorts of different things, the basics of Power Apps, how to build up navigations, using formulas and rules and variables, and all the things that you'll need to know to build out your own Power App. 
So this is a really great resource. I would work your way through this if you're just getting started learning about Power Apps. Then the final option, which is offered to you, again, free by Microsoft, is the Microsoft Learning Pathways. These are modules of videos, as well as, again, um, tasks that you can work through alongside the videos. Um, and it's not only Power Apps, but it's all a Power Platform, including Power Automate, Power BI, and all the other cool products which are inside of the Power Platform suite. So these are um, websites, um, so you can go to the Learning Pathways site which is just learn.microsoft.com, or you can just search for, say, Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals instead of Google, and you'll find this link. You'll also notice that it will be prefixed with a code. Now, this code is essentially the exam that this relates to. So people using the learning pathways, what they're trying to do is they're working their way towards taking a industry-recognized Microsoft exam. The exams aren't drastically expensive. They work out to be somewhere between 100 to 200 pounds or, or, or dollars, depending on where you are in the world. Um, but they're not too drastically expensive. Um, the way that Learning Pathways works is it's broken down into a whole set of different modules. So you can see here we've got describe the business value of Microsoft Power Platform or identify um, foundational components of Microsoft Platform. So these are all different modules and they all have a rough idea of how long they take. Um, to be honest, I would take that with a bit of a pinch of salt. I tend to find the estimates of time are like a worst case scenario. Um, they're, they're very rarely would it ever go over what that estimate is. So I would take that again with a bit of a pinch of salt. Um, I tend to find that you can get through them much quicker than what the estimated time is on here. But as you click through, again, these are modulized. So inside of here, there are then sections inside of this module that you can work your way through. And as you go through, there are bits of it that will be text, there'll be infographics, there'll be videos, and there'll be uh, sort of different tasks you can work on. And as you go through, you unlock um, the modules that you'll be working on. There are some, um, at the end of modules, quite often little quizzes as well to test your knowledge, and you have to complete them uh, and get them right before you can kind of unlock the module and move on to the next step. A common question I get asked about Learning Pathways is, can I take the exams at any time or do I need to complete all of Learning Pathways first? And the answer is, you can take the exam whenever you like. It's not actually linked together, but um, you do earn kind of points, your knowledge points, your experience points, as you unlock more of these modules. But you can take the exams at any time. So if you feel like you're ready, you can take the exam any time that you actually like. So those are some Power Apps training options specifically for you. As I say, the LinkedIn courses are there, the Power Apps Learning template is there, completely free from Microsoft to use, and the Learning Pathways is there, again, completely free for you to use to get you started. But now let's talk a little bit more about the, your organization. So how can um, you get more knowledge inside of your team and the wider organization? This is where Valto can help. We provide a Power Platform Strategy Workshop. Essentially, this will help your team assess Power Platform and all of the key components that it contains so that you're not just learning about building out Power Apps, but you're, building, uh, you're, you're learning about how to ensure that the overall environment and the data is safe and secure. We have an offering inside of the Microsoft Marketplace that you can review. I'll jump to that in a second, but just so you know, the link for this will be in the description of the video, and it'll also be a pinned comment in the comments feed below this video. Once you get to the Microsoft Marketplace, you'll see that we have um, a number of different offerings, but the one that I would strongly recommend if you're starting your journey with your organization on the Power Platform um, is this Power Platform Strategy One Day Workshop. So this will include talking about Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and all of the other products that are contained inside of Power Platform. Um, essentially, um, this offering, you can see, there is actually a dedicated video specifically to explain this in a bit more detail. So if you are interested in this, go and watch that five minute video because it'll go into a lot more detail explaining um, what projects look like, how we approach this. But just to give you a rough idea of the agenda of this workshop, we would start off with a bit of an introduction and understand your organization, what you're planning on using the uh, Power Platform for, what you want to achieve. And also we'll tell you a bit more about Valto and how we work with you as a Microsoft partner. 
we'll give you an overview of the Power Platform. And this includes understanding the licensing perspective of the Power Platform, which again is quite detailed. And you need to understand that to make sure that you're getting the best value from Microsoft licenses. We'll talk to you about environments and the different types of environments that you can create and the best practices around having a development environment, a pre-production environment, and a production environment. We'll talk to you about connectors and how the data it gets pulled and uh, pushed from those connectors. We'll talk to you about security and data loss prevention policies, as well as what potential hardware that you'll need for running these power apps with inside of your organization. We'll talk to you about the Power Apps Center of Excellence and what that means to your organization, as well as potentially looking at a citizen developer program in which you can train people, almost like a train the trainer approach, which forms a wider training and adoption plan to ensure that Power Apps is properly received by your organization. We can talk to you about monitoring as well as other types of support and administration type roles that you might need inside of your organization, as well as the support options that Valto can provide for you. This will end with a roadmap and timelines, as well as an overarching scope of what we could potentially be supporting you and your organization with. Quite often, we would recommend starting off by building out a proof of concept application and using this as a bit of a guinea pig. We can help support you in building that application. We can completely build it ourselves and then train you afterwards. We can work with you and be completely flexible as you're embarking on a comprehensive journey through the Power Platform. But as I say, for more details, check out this link. You can check out here um, a full video um, uh, of the, the offering, some commonly frequently asked questions, as well as what a typical project roadmap would look like with Valto. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel for future videos, and if you've got any questions at all, use the comments feed below. Thank you.